Hey friends, if this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So today I want to show you how I do a print and cut image larger than what Design Space says I am able to do. Now I did this on a cup earlier. I don't have the same cup to do the same project, but I'm gonna improvise and I hope this is helpful. I have two things I'm going to insert. Now, this, this template right here. All right, so this particular template I got off of Google. Now, I do have something similar that I bought off of Etsy. You can find so many on Etsy. I think, honestly, sometimes it feels like the same people are selling the same thing, so maybe they just got it off Google, too. I'm not really sure, but you can find this on Google. And actually, as a matter of fact, what I can do is just pull this template up bigger and I'll hold it on the screen for a second. And if you want, if you want this template, you can screenshot it and then you can put the picture in design space, clean it up, and you have the template, and then you don't have to go and search Google for it. And then, of course, if you don't want to do it that way, you can buy plenty of them on Etsy. They have all kinds of them. I like to try and buy stuff there because I do like to support the artists that are doing different things, and I did buy one off of there for $1.99. All right, so... Now the other thing I did was what I want to make a, a picture of. I went in, so this is for all of my 90s kids. So I wanted a Rugrat picture. I put Rugrats in Google and went to images and screenshot of what I want, put it into design space and cleaned it up, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, first of all, I put those together. I'm going to hit edit and arrange because I want this to be on my top because I want to get as much in as possible. And if I need to just sort of, oops. Oh turn it a little, I will. Make that a little bigger. Make that maybe a little smaller. I'm just gonna get it to where I get as much in as I can possibly get in. I'm gonna unlock so that, cause I actually wanna be able to widen that a little without making it any longer and as you can see i'm just playing around with it until i get it where i'm happy with it all right so now i'm happy i'm gonna highlight the whole thing i'm gonna go to actions i'm gonna slice And there we go. All right, take all of that off. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need that. All right, so I think that I am going to use this tumbler right here. And I measured it. So the measurements are 9.75 for the width and the height I'm doing 5.5 and this is a Dollar Tree tumbler and I like this one because if I want to do epoxy on it, I can. All right, so now I want to show you something very important, making sure you can see. All right, so I want to show you something that's really important. All right, so my width is 9.75 and my height is 5.5. So I am a little bit too big to be compatible with the print and cut. So I'm going to show you 
what I do. All right. So I'm going to hit shapes. I'm going to pick a square. Take my square, make it a little bit bigger. All right. Now I'm going to be cutting my image in half. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure you can see. Okay. So now I don't want my seam to be down the center of a face. I don't want my seam to be in the middle. I like my seam to be sort of on the side, okay? And I like to sort of look at an area that might be at least somewhat inconspicuous, all right? So I'm gonna choose this area here. I feel like I can line it up pretty good. So then I'm going to engage around it, hit actions, hit slice. Now I'm going to take this away. I don't need it. I'm going to take that away. I don't need it. Now my image is in two pieces. So this is going to allow me to print out the entire thing using print then cut. And this is great when you're doing larger tumblers that need um, you know, bigger pieces. We're going to, we're going to do this and then we're going to print it, cut it and put it on our tumbler. All right. So let's move over to our machine. All right. So we're going to do our print then cut. So let's continue and we're going to print. All right, so I've put this cup together. Now, since this wasn't about making a cup, it was showing you how to print a larger picture, I went ahead and did it myself. But there's a couple things I wanna tell you. So I used Silhouette printable vinyl and not knocking Silhouette products, I really do like them. However, my favorite printable vinyl is the Cricut because it's thin and it's stretchy. This printable vinyl is not stretchy and it tears easy. So not my favorite. I feel like it would have gone on a lot easier with the Cricut. And then again, this template isn't really made for this cup. Um, the template is actually made for this cup. And this is the one that I did earlier when I wanted to show you guys. And actually here, this is the seam for this one when I had to do the print then cut. So there's that. And, but I do think that this would have been better had I used Cricut vinyl. However, Michaels was out of it and they had two packs of Silhouette left. So that's what I got. Now on this, if you're using this template and you're going to try and fit it to a larger cup, you don't know that you do need to go larger and wider. So I have a space here where it didn't fit, but you know, I was thinking maybe I will save this cup and use it when, and do a video on offset and show you, I'm going to be able to completely Fix this cup, put epoxy on it, and you will never even know that I had a boo-boo here. So maybe that's something I'll save this cup. Instead of doing anything with it now, I'll wait and do it. Because the video was about making a larger um, print than cut. So here's my seam. And I just want to show you. It lined up very nicely. I made an issue there, so don't look at that. I tore it. I told you this this printable vinyl here, it tears. Like the Cricut printable vinyl, if you have to manipulate it, it's so much better. Like this is a nice thick, it's smooth, it prints nice, but if you have to manipulate it, the Cricut is so much better. And see that white there is not it lining up, it's me pulling this vinyl. But you can see like, 
you know, you can definitely line it up very easily. I needed to go down just a hair because um, you can see there on his thumb. I kind of messed that up. But it is definitely easy to line it up. And, you know, the key is really going in an area that's going to be a little bit more obscure. So, but this is, I mean, it's a really cute, a really cute cup, aside from the fact that, you know, I did mess this up. Now, let me tell you, if you are going to do this tumbler, like on this one, so this is just a Dollar Tree, it's the two for a dollar tumblers, and that's what this template is actually meant for, and it works so nice, it fits on these well. I like the Cricut, um... Of course, I I just prefer the Cricut printable vinyl. It pulls, it's easier to make it all fit. But, you know, I like this. Now, just so you know, though, if you were going to do, use the template and do a cup like this, you do need to seal it either Mod Podge, Crystal Clear, something like that, just so you know. All right, so... Here we, you know, we did a larger print than cut. Is it print and cut or print then cut? I think it's print and cut. And I always say print then cut. Either way, same thing. Anyways, listen, I hope it was helpful, friends. I hope you have a blessed, 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 blessed and beautiful day. And for all you 90 kids, here's your rugrats. All right. Thanks, friends. Take care. See you later. Bye.